and welcome to a new gaming segment and I have coined. I have coined something? Yes. Quite the surprise, but yes I have. My imperfect gaming collection. But fear not, I'm never gonna stop my main videos that you're all now well adjusted to. Even if I'm not well adjusted myself. I just feel like I need to fill the void with something smaller in between those big gaps. Because let's face it, those big ones, they take a lot of work. <sighs> oh, so hot now. It's just that they take a long time to do as well. So I need to fill it with something in between that big gap. You just said that. Idiot. So this is what I just said before, my imperfect gaming collection. My imperfect gaming collection. What the hell does that mean? Basically, if you chase a perfect collection, you're only going to be left disappointed because you're only going to want more. So my collection will always be imperfect. In a little bit of a nutshell. <laughs> and on the nut, in this shell. What have you given me? What kind of shell have you given me? I've already been through all this. <laughs> oh my god, I've already been through this crazy talk. I'm not going through it again. Remember what happened last time? It was not pretty. It was not pretty. Put it that way, it was not pretty. Alright, let's get into this and take a look at my first game off the shelf. So what do we have? All Rise to Demon's Crest. Okay, so this story starts at a little place called Game Traders. In Australia, we had this place called, we had this place called Game Traders. There are still a few around, but as far as I can tell, there ain't too many. See, the main retail sales gaming places to buy in Australia was a place called, is a place called, EB Games. Electronic Boutique. And here they are having a sale. Can you tell they're having a sale? What gave it away? It was one of the signs, wasn't it? Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, it works. You walk into a store, you look at the game you like to buy, and then you buy the game. That's how it works. Retail gaming shops work. Oh no shit. Generally. Okay? But, there's something they don't normally have. And that is... Retro, which being gets. For the most part. Or any part. So game traders made a good alternative. So I thought. And they sold retro games from Master System, Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, etc. etc. So, I used to go in there when it first opened because I like retro games, I like new games. I went in there to see what they had. So after going into this place in and out for months and months on end, I could never really find too much that I liked. Or that was at a good price. So for the most part I was going in and going straight back out. Because I wasn't buying what they were selling, obviously. So I let it go for a few months. A few months went by. And then my OCD got a hold of me. Once again, I'm like, oh, I've got to try this place again. It's got old games, surely eventually they're going to have something I like there. Eventually, surely they're going to have something I like. It's mathematical. I'm not a mathematical genius, but it is mathematical. Really, it is, isn't it? Oh, fuck's me. Eventually, they're going to get something you like. So this day, I go in there, and I look on the shelf. And I could not believe my eyes. I couldn't believe it. And the price. I couldn't believe the price either. Obviously, they didn't know what they had, but I did. Lucky for me. Well, yeah, you already know what I got, but here it is again anyway. Now let's have a look inside and show you exactly what I got. So how much did I pay for this? Ten dollars. Ten Australian dollars. Ten, count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten Australian dollars. Now, to put it in perspective from wherever you live, because I don't know where you live in the world. You could live in Mexico, you could live in Japan, you could live on the moon. You could live on the bloody moon for all I know. You're beaming this off a satellite. Beam me up, Scotty. You're watching me from the moon. Good times up there, I hope. Anyway, don't get too lightheaded up there, though. I heard there's not much atmosphere. So, down back on Earth, I was paying $10 for Demon's Crest. To compare prices for wherever you live in the world, brand new games that first come out here usually start at around the $100 mark. Sometimes a little more. Until, of course, the inevitable sale, where things get really nuts. I keep putting the game down, I keep pulling it up again. <laughs> if you don't know, this is Firebrand. Okay? That's his name, Firebrand. And he is from Super Girls and Ghosts, or Ghosts and Goblins, or whatever you want to call your version, whatever you play. 
I've been playing Super Girls and Ghosts a lot lately. Yeah, we've all been there. Well, I've been there. And he was a real pain in the ass. And now you get to play as him, which is pretty cool. Because when you do play as him in the game, he takes a lot of hits from the enemies. And I know, personally, how hard it is to beat this guy. I've just been through all that, believe me. And he's a tough dude. He's one tough nugget to crack. Nugget? He's one tough... Cookie? One tough nut to crack. He is one tough nut to crack. Just like me, I'm one tough nut and but I crack. Quite a lot. And of course the underlying question. Is the spawn of Satan a hard game? This game isn't that bad. It's pretty it's not easy. But it's not hard. It's not hard. But it's not easy. It's not easy, but it's not hard, okay? Just telling you how the game is. My head keeps going out of frame. I keep coming up to the frame of the camera and my head keeps getting chopped off. Am I in frame now? I was moving in and out, I can't help it. I'm not looking at my visor, I'm just moving around, talking with my hands, I always do it. <clears throat> well anyway, it doesn't matter. Thank you for listening to my ramblings, my lunatic ramblings about my Demon Crest story. And how I acquired it, which coincidentally leads right into my next story. Is that it? <sighs> Man. You must sound like a lunatic. You must sound like a goddamn lunatic. I'm not stretching out my arms because I'm all sweaty. Look at me. I'm like a cocoon. I'm all sweaty. Alright. Let's go. Alright. Pop the logo. That means this video is finished. That means this video is finished. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more of me and what I get up to, please be sure to check out my other videos. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more of this crap, I guess. Uh, you decide. Thanks again.